Do you want a good audio setting for your hybrid podcast? I think this microphone is amazing and I think this setting is actually going to work really well for other microphones also. We're going to do OBS Studio and it's no plugins, nothing like that. So it's straight OBS. So you don't really need to do anything. So do you want a really good setting? This video is perfect for you. So let's go to the tutorial and check it out. First thing we want to check out is on the HyperX Quadcast microphone. Under the HyperX Quadcast, you have a hub. That's the gain. So I have mine set at three. Depends, of course, what you want to set it to. So bigger dot, more gain. Smaller dot, less gain. Behind the HyperX Quadcast, you have a button or a mode switch. That one you want, it's the heart shaped one ish and what that does it's actually just taking audio in the front of the microphone so you don't take audio from around the microphone stuff like that and that is mainly that one you need if you're streaming or you're doing youtube content the second thing you mainly want to do is check your volume in windows and how to do this uh, it's actually really plain simple you go down to the audio icon right click on it open audio sources scroll down a bit find your microphone you see it moving there due to properties and here you have the volume uh, sorry this is on swedish so sorry for that uh, if you have this set to 50 percent or less bump it up to 100 percent and uh, because i have it it works i do this for all my microphones so when you're done with the settings, you want to locate the audio mixer. So we're going to do the test hyper. So go to the cogwheel on the right side. Go to filters. In here, you it's going to be blank if it's the first time you're doing this. And I'm going to show you how you to do it. On the left side of this tab, you have a plus icon. And you can choose what you want. In my case, you can take the limiter press limiter this do you do with everyone do you guys know so the first one we're going to look at is the noise suppression the noise suppression you want to have the rn and noise good quality more cpu usage you can test this with specs low cpu usage low quality but i found that this one is better but it's a it's personal so check it out and see what you think Next one is the noise gate and the noise gate close threshold. I had mine set to minus 35 and the open threshold minus 26. This one you need to tweak a bit because not all environment is the same. Not the voice is not the same. You may have your microphone further from your mouth. You may have it close to your mouth. So you need to tweak this a bit. Take this as a reference and tweak from it. The next one is compressor and you kind of need a compressor this do so if you're streaming or doing youtube that when you're screaming when you're gaming or stuff like that at that the viewer don't blow out the eardrums so mainly so you kind of want this it's really good the ratio you want this at four threshold i have mine at minus 30 attack minus six release 50 ms no gain the next is expander expander does that certain threshold under it's like a noise gate in a way or noise suppression you take away fan noise and stuff like that so this one you also want to tweak so the presets expander ratio is two great with voice uh, threshold i have mine at minus 40. this one you need to set properly because you need to tweak this, record yourself, use different things, shout a bit, talk really uh, soft and stuff like that. So you really need to tweak this. Recommend it. The attack is 10 ms, release is 50 ms, output gain none. So there's no gain. And detection is RMS. If you. The next one is a gain. Uh, this one is depending on what kind of how much you have put the hub on on your microphone uh, i've set mine for this tutorial to four this one is also you need to tweak 
see because to actually get a good audio you need to tweak it it's not one solution fits all you need to tweak it a bit so if this this not really working for you you need to tweak i will set mine to four the next or the last one is the limiter uh it's kind of muted right now we said you're screaming a lot you maybe want a limiter because the limiter limits you go over a certain decibel so maybe you're really a screamer or something like that and you're on red down here and you maybe want to set the limiter so you don't really go into red so we don't blow out the eardrums stuff like that and there you guys have it one more thing the last thing actually if you really want a good audio i really recommend a boom arm or because on the hybrid quarter cost you get this table stand it's not the greatest i can actually show you you actually get this it's not the greatest and you it's following it's following with the hybrid quarter cost microphone uh, it's working but i don't really recommend it because it's you get further from the microphone uh, and it's taken up audio from the keyboard because the keyboard is closer and the vibration stuff like that so i really recommend you guys invest in boomer uh, i'm gonna do more videos of this so i'm actually gonna do a video of the boom arm why you should have one and what's the perks of having one so i think that was everything guys i hope you guys liked the video like the video if it's helped you and of course have you any comments or did it really help you give me a comment down below give me give me just put it in there and because it's really fun to see if it's actually helped you guys and of course have you any questions let me know and of course subscribe to the channel of for more awesome videos like this so take it easy everyone and have a great day and look out bye bye